So um, for an adult, you really should be taking 2 to 2.5 minimum. The amount of water that a person requires, of course, will vary according to their weight or their body mass index. But on a standard textbook level, 2.5, 2 liters to 2.5 liters on a given day. That is what you should be taking. Now, this is not water that should be consumed all in one go. We're not talking about somebody sitting there with a 2.5 liter of water and saying, until I finish this, that's when I'm going to get sufficient water inside of my body. You need to regulate it and take it at different intervals. Now, there are people who can complain say each time they start taking more water, they tend to start killing it. So, for those people who say that, perhaps they're taking the wrong type of water, you know, it's possible they're taking the wrong type of water, or maybe they're taking water at the wrong time, and therefore their body is not absorbing it. Is it advisable for somebody to drink water while they're eating? And you know, a lot of my clients have that habit. A lot of people. Anyway, it's standard. You mostly take water after you finish eating. So people will take water after their breakfast. They'll take water after their lunch. They'll take water immediately after their supper. The problem with doing this is that you are disturbing your metabolism. You're disturbing your digestive system. Mm -hmm. When you take water immediately after a meal, what you're doing is you are diluting the digestive enzymes. Okay. Okay. Things like pepsin that are supposed to help break down your food so that it is distributed in a way that it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. I'd even rather you take the water before you begin eating or wait at least half an hour to 45 minutes after your meal so that the digestive system takes place naturally and then now you can take your water. Get to enlighten us, what is the right way of taking water? So the right way to take water is basically the first thing you do in the morning. You take about a glass, which is about 500 mils of water, mm -hmm. preferably warm or hot water. If you have access to lemon, and now we have the season of lemons and so on, although mm -hmm. they're becoming a bit scarce, yeah. you can squeeze a bit of lemon juice into your water because mm -hmm. that will help to actually also purify your liver first thing in the morning. Then try and take water at every two hour interval. Mm -hmm. Try and get your two liters of water in at least before 16, 17 hours so that it's also flushed out of your system and then you're not disturbed during the night. So getting into an issue of surety, how can somebody be sure to say they're drinking safe water? You know, right now there's actually an alert going around for cholera. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we must be very mindful to make sure that although we're drinking water that our body requires, we're drinking safe, clean, healthy water. Right now, we need to be very careful. Try and avoid taking tap water. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you have, um, even if it's a borehole, the simplest, quickest way to ensure that you have healthy water is to boil it. Okay, but at Dynalab, we have some solutions for you that we're very excited to present to you today. Okay, so talking about the water mineral ports mm -hmm. that we have on the table right yes. here from Dynalab, how mm -hmm. does it work? Okay, so what we have on the table here, it's a very interesting um, solution to all your water problems, especially now that we're in the hot season and there's cholera going around and so on. Obviously, you want to give your family clean, safe, healthy drinking water. Mm -hmm. This water mineral pot that we have that we stock at Dynalab goes through seven stages of uh, filtration. Okay? okay, so basically it purifies the water. It helps to mineralize the water because it has things like charcoal in there. We've got uh, psyllium, we've got uh, some sand, as well as some minerals that are part of this part that they can see there. I don't know if the viewers are able to see that. Mm -hmm. So when you put your water, it filters through from the top 
Mm -hmm. Okay, and then it goes all the way into this area here and then eventually you release it from there. So this is a nice alternative to having a dispenser. This water mineral pot does not require any power. So if you've got concerns about your relatives in the village where there's water, right now power goes on and off. You just want to make sure that you have good, clean, safe water that will help to give you the benefits. Because mm -hmm. remember I said that it also helps to mineralize you because it has added minerals in the filtration. So this is something that you can easily have. Keep in your kitchen, keep in your office. Even if you're going on a road trip, now people are getting ready to go away for Christmas. This is something that you can take. It does not require any power or electricity whatsoever. And you can put basically almost any type of water in there and it will make it safe for human consumption. So what's your